What's every up, everybody? I am back. I am here. It's a brand new video, and, uh, well, <laughs> I scared my dog. <laughs> anyway, so, let's talk about something. If you guys haven't heard, there is this new band out called Greta Van Fleek, and they sound a lot like these guys. A whole lot. Now, I've seen people talk about them and react to them and go like how they sound so closely like Led Zeppelin. And, you know, some people are saying, you know, that these guys uh, could really, really take off. I, I don't exactly know how to feel about it because, like, it's kind of like one of those things where it's like when you when you listen to one of those songs, you know, you, you're like, do I like this? Do I not like this? And I feel that the reason why people would buy their music is because they sound like Led Zeppelin. Now, I respect when bands... I respect when bands start out and they sound like the people that they're influenced by. But, you know, the thing is, is that, I mean, like, uh, example, uh, Aerosmith, when they started out, they sounded like the Rolling Stones, and as their albums progressed, they got more into the sound that we know them by today. You know, um... Uh, Iron Maiden, you know, I've heard some of their early stuff, and before they got Bruce Dickinson, they kind of sounded like just your average heavy metal band, kind of like Judas Priest-like, but, you know, it's like, if you haven't heard of Greta Van Fleek, I would highly recommend at least hearing them, whether you like, whether you like it or not, because as the singer, he does have a distinctive, um, uh, uh, sound to his voice. He just sounds a lot like Robert Plant. Now, I'm not trying to bash these guys saying that they're not gonna do well or anything, because if they do, if they do, and then if they work on their sound, then great. Then off, off to them, right? But the thing is that it's, it's different because, like, other bands that come out will be like, oh, they sound like this band. Or this band sounds like this band. Now, because there is a band that sounds like Led Zeppelin, and because Led Zeppelin broke up over 30 years ago, probably close to 40 now, ba basically what I'm trying to say is that just because there's a band out there that sounds like Led Zeppelin doesn't mean that they're going to stay around. Now, the thing is that, because they sound like Led Zeppelin, I feel like their popularity is going to skyrocket super fast, and then it's going to go straight down super fast, too. Because people only want to hear something that sounds like something that's already been done for so long. You know, that's why a lot of bands that have came out recently, they don't stay around. That's why... Bands that want to stay around, they try to work on their sound. Paramore, for example. You know, they started out, they sounded very, you know, few, very cliched, uh, typical emo, pop, punk, whatever you want to call it. What, whatever you want to call it. But then, their sound progressed once they got into their fourth uh, album, and they started doing different stuff. Now, the fifth album after Laughter, I, I can't, I couldn't get into it, but I respect them for changing their style. Panic at the Disco, I respect them completely because everything they do sounds different. That's what makes an artist stay around. What doesn't make an artist stay around is when they go with whatever has already been done or whatever this band is doing. That's why a lot of bands now only last about four to five years, because people are tired of hearing the same thing. Now... Are there other bands out there that are sounding exactly like Led Zeppelin? Not really. But, because there is a band now that sounds exactly like Led Zeppelin, 
that means they're going to have a lot of popularity because, oh, they sound like Led Zeppelin. But the thing is, is that you can only do something like that that's cliched for so long. So, my personal opinion, do I think Greta Van Fleet is going to be around for years and years and years and years and years like Led Zeppelin? Absolutely not. But I think they're going to get a good fan following, but then they're just going to fade out really fast because of how much they do sound like Led Zeppelin. It's insane how much they sound like Led Zeppelin. It's scary. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on it. You know, I mean, I mean, what do you think? I mean, you think of a band that sounds exactly like these, exactly like these guys, they're gonna stay around forever. Who knows? But uh, you know, that's just my opinion, guys. And you know, don't like, don't like try to sue me and make it the end of the world just because I I said my opinion. But uh, you know. Is this going to be a new thing on the channel where I just, like, snob people or whatever like that? No. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if there's something else that comes around that gets my attention. But, uh, I just felt like making this video because, you know, Greta Van Fleet is a thing that's been talked about a lot. Like, a lot lately. So, um, I'm not going to show you guys a clip because I don't want to get sued by YouTube or anything like that. But I will, uh... Uh, type out uh, the name and whatnot so that you guys can check it out. Um, and any way, guys, that's it. Like and subscribe and all that good shit. All right, I'm out.